Hey amazing hackers, I'm Torhat from HM Cyber Academy. As you guys have requested us to do more Port Sugar Labs, and we have decided to select very new topic, which is race conditions. Okay, let's begin. So what are race conditions? So they have given some basic uh, correlation, but this is not a particular definition. Okay, so let's see the definition first and then we'll continue with this okay so this is how i want to define a race condition okay so a race condition is a software vulnerability that occurs when multiple threads or processes access shared resources concurrently which means at the same time multiple threads and multiple process want to access the shared resources at the same time okay so that's what it means and uh, what it does is it potentially leads to unexpected behavior, data corruption and security vulnerabilities. Let's jump into the port sugar labs. So what do we have here? Okay, race conditions are common type of vulnerability closely related to business logic flaws. Okay, so what they are trying to say is, so race conditions are a subtopic of this business logic flaws. Okay. These days, race conditions have become so much important that they needed their own space. Okay, let's continue. They occur when website process requests concurrently without adequate safeguards. Okay, so this is why it is happening. Okay, so these are all just uh, these can lead to multiple distinct threads interacting the same data at the same time, resulting a collision that causes unintended behavior by collision they mean uh, they are occurring at the same time a race condition attack uses carefully timed request okay so this race condition is totally dependent on time okay so uses when carefully timed request to cause intentional collisions and exploit this unintended behavior for malicious purposes okay so they have given an example using an image so in which they are saying that they want to redeem this gift shop okay so instead of sending one request they just make a copy of this request a hundred times or so in this case five times okay they want to send all the requests at the same time all these five requests has to go through the server at the same time but here they have shown some variation in time okay so what happened is these three requests have been applied so what they are saying is this single gift card is equivalent to three gift cards so that's what they are saying so if you try to use uh, multiple requests within this five milliseconds gap okay so this is just an example okay five millisecond is an example but anyhow so if it is able to get within this five millisecond depending on how many requests that go through this five millisecond gap those are being redeemed okay let's see so the period of time in which a collision is possible is known as a race window okay so this period which is whichever is there is called a race window okay so this is the period this is the time this is not just a window okay this is a time so this could be fraction of a second between two interactions with the database for example uh, so next line they are saying it has heavily dependent on application specific functionality so uh, this was first presented in black hat usa 2023 so this is very recent okay and uh, let's see we have limit overrun race conditions okay so the most well-known type of race condition enables you to exceed some kind of limit imposed by business logic of application so here they have an example in which they want to apply a promotional code or a promo code okay so while applying this promotional code okay what are the things that usually happen first you check the promotional code that you haven't used it okay and secondly apply the discount code to order total okay so after applying the coupon code what is the remaining amount that we need to pay 
okay so that's the thing and uh, it will update the record in the database okay so these three things happen and let's see so this is the time that usually happens okay so when we try to use the code for the first time what happens is it will simply apply the discount okay so the next time we try to use the same promo code this is going to happen okay this will be rejected okay so what they are trying to say using this time is so this you have already applied once this you wanted to apply for second time okay which is not going to happen okay uh, all of this we will see practically in web application lab okay so what will happen if you send these two requests at the same time if the code is being checked in the same race window then both of these codes will say that code is not used okay code already used false code already used false so in this small period of time when both the request reach the server then both the codes are being applied the remaining amount that we need to pay is even lesser than the previous one we discussed here okay so that's how it is so where can you attack okay so these are the locations where you can attack it okay bypassing anti brute force race limit okay redeeming a gift card multiple times rating a product multiple times withdrawing or transferring cash in excess of your bank account hmm interesting so limit overruns okay so these are just a sub type called time of check to time of use so this you can understand using this example okay this is the time of check okay so this is actually checking this time and this is the time of use code used already okay so this is the time of check and time of use so these are called limit overruns okay so let's see a lab okay let's see a lab and this is the one okay what does this uh, lab says limit overrun race condition okay so this lab's purchasing flow contains a race condition that enables you to purchase items for unintended price to solve this lab successfully purchase a lightweight leet leather jacket okay you can log in using these credentials okay and please make note that solving this lab requires this particular version let's access the lab okay what do we have here so this is the lightweight leet leather jacket right so this is too costly let's see how much we have in our account okay so let's click on my account okay it is not logged in so let's use these credentials okay winner peter we have a store credit of $50 so let's go back to home let's scroll down and this is the lightweight leet leather jacket right so let's view details and uh, let's scroll down so it is saying add to cart as you can see we don't have anything in the cart okay so if i click this one product is being added here okay so if i click this one so we are redirected to this particular uh, cart okay we have our product here which is this much costly they have an option to keep a coupon here okay so do we have a coupon and uh, at the top we have a promo coupon okay so promo 20 will reduce 20% of this price okay so that's what they are saying and let's try to apply this promo 20 apply and uh, if i scroll down i can see that this much is being reduced okay so this is the total amount that i have to pay now okay so the option they have given is i can remove this particular coupon code okay so let's click on this remove okay so the total is now changed back to 1337 let's go back to burp suite 
okay let's click on history as you can see here we have slash cart slash coupon and here we have slash cart slash coupon slash remove this seems to be the request that uh, has applied the promo code okay so as you can see here this is the promo code that is being applied okay so this is the coupon code that is being removed okay so this being removed right so what we are doing is we have to take this particular request okay in which we are applying the promo code and we have to apply it multiple times parallelly at the same time okay let's send this particular thing to repeater okay let's right click on this send to repeater click on repeater okay if i scroll down i see the promo code okay so if you are upgraded to 2023.9 or higher then you will see that you will have another option here to create tab group okay this is specifically designed for uh, race conditions okay so in race conditions what do we do so we have to send multiple requests at the same time so in order to send this request multiple times so you need to create a group of request okay so how you do is you need to send the same request okay this particular request multiple times to the repeater okay so you need to create uh, at least 10 to 15 copies of this one okay so how you do is you right click and you send it to repeater okay right click and there is a shortcut here okay control r you can directly click control r okay multiple times so it will actually create these many requests so what you need to do now is you need to group all of these requests okay so how you do that is click on plus icon create tab group select all of them okay and you can give it a name okay this time i'll just give limit overrun okay and you can give any color you want okay so i'm just going to give this color and click create okay so this has created a group okay a group of these 17 requests okay you can minimize this using this okay once you have selected this particular group you have to send it right so you should not click this particular thing okay so if you click this you will be only sending this particular request so you will not be sending those 17 requests okay so you should not click it right away so what you need to do is you need to change the option as you can see there is a drop down button here so there are multiple ways you can send this the first one says send group in sequence okay if you send group in sequence so that is not some kind of race condition okay so you have to send a group in parallel okay so this is what you need to do you have to send all of them parallelly at the same time you need to click on this okay and then you need to send this okay you need to click this again so when you click this let's see what's going to happen as you can see one of them says coupon code error coupon already applied okay so let's see what happened here okay let's reload this as you can see this time we have 899.9 dollars okay so this much dollars has been reduced they have to be reduced because some of these requests had applied this coupon code okay okay applied coupon code applied coupon code so what is happening here so it is not sending all the requests in sequence so they are already sent as a group okay so they are sent in parallel to explain this i'll just draw okay let's say this is the source and this is the server okay so this has to reach within that window okay there is a small gap okay time gap so this is the race window okay so this is where we need to send our all the request in this particular location so when sending a group in parallel this is not like a like a single machine gun that is shooting 
all of the bullets okay so it is not like that so it is like 16 or 17 guns shooting at the same time okay so it should be something like this okay all of them has to reach within this particular location and once these are processed okay so we will get some output so the maximum output that we can get using as many requests as possible okay so this is not a single thing that is doing these are like multiple requests at the same time these are like uh, 17 machine guns shooting one bullet this is not like one machine gun shooting 17 bullets at the same time okay this is not like this this is like this okay let's go back to the lab so let's try it again but before trying so you need to go back to the browser and remove this one okay so remove this okay now we are back again so let's apply the same promo code again so let's reload and see what happened this time it is even less since we have only 50 dollars we cannot afford it okay so you need to delete it and you have to send it again send group in parallel okay reload all right as you can see this time 1300 dollars has been reduced okay and we are left with only 30 dollars so we can afford this right so let's place the order all right congratulations you solved the lab all right i hope you understand it and i'll see you guys in the next one